change the course of a game with a single sprint. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? It's Super Bowl! Hey! All right, welcome back, YouTubers and Mad fans. This is Mad Money Shot, bringing you some more gameplay footage. Uh, looking at the, the, my opponent's team, but there he is on my team, Bo Jackson. This guy right here, man, he is an absolute animal. Uh, I'm so excited to bring this guy uh, onto my roster, offense, defense, and special teams uh, as a kicker slash punter. You're going to see him as a punter first um, because I can get to kick the ball off. And for whatever reason, pretty much every time I kick with this guy, it's through the back of the end zone, almost through the damn uprights. I mean, this guy's got such a foot. It's not even funny. For whatever, maybe I'm kicking in some serious win here uh, but nine times out of ten this thing is a touchback you see that's a touchback there so um, starting off on defense first which is fine because I love the defensive version uh, that I have I got the defensive tackle which a lot of people think um, you know it's, it's a little crazy I mean everybody out there is pretty much getting linebackers and safeties and I kind of understand that because you know he's, he's definitely suited for that but at the same time I mean there's so many good linebackers and safeties out there it's kind of hard for me to put him in a position that I already have a lot of guys that I like and then I'm loaded so I basically put him at defensive tackle uh, because there's a lot of guys you know, I don't have a lot of defensive tackles I like. So here we go. We get a tip pick uh, to get the ball back uh, pretty quickly on, on offense here. Uh, Steve Atwater, man, that guy, you know what I'm saying? He's never going to leave my squad. I don't care who, what position I upgrade. That free safety position is probably one of the last ones that I upgrade. Unless it gets to a point where they actually, um, you know, do an updated Steve Steve Atwater maybe would be nice. <laughs> EA, hook me up. Uh, but there we go. We're, we're driving right away. As you can see, that's my one-play touchdown. But I use it well too close. Uh, we're going to go. We're going to bounce outside. I thought that was in. Uh, how do know how he gets down to the one so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna bounce it bounce it outside because this guy can do it all man he's inside outside look at that spin move i mean this guy just has everything did you get the nice user spin i mean that block i don't know why the block didn't set up um because it was there but uh whatever so here we go he's got like a max pro going on and there he is on defense man bo jackson you know what i'm saying like i said i, I 91 speed at defensive tackle is just disgusting as he gets the sack so here we're getting the uh the blitz from the outside with marshawn Lattimore. that's rookie premier marshawn Lattimore. he's still getting time on my roster man he's had such a monstrous rookie year i mean i don't want to say i'm psychic but i told you guys i told you guys in the video to get marshawn Lattimore. so <laughs> so if you did if you follow my my uh you know suggestion back then you got a nasty corner still to this day from day one uh here we are on special teams he has to point away fourth and 26 bo jackson's got to be the best kick returner pump returner in this game too as you can see this is just so easy mode i feel like i'm playing a solo right now and here once again i thought i was in so i didn't even try and then i didn't get in <laughs> it's like you know what i mean it's like it's I, I just i don't know i think he's just automatically going to do it for me to the point where i was like i barely try when i use him so here we go two carries though not looking good he shut bo jackson down a little bit on the run side of the ball five carries for for negative two yards here i see he's in a man coverage so i do a nice little adjustment that's that play was designed to bo jackson but when i see he's got an all-out man coverage i just buy a little time and i make an adjustment and that's just easy money you know what i'm saying you gotta you gotta i mean i had a money play prepared but you really gotta watch what your opponent's doing because that's you know more important than anything i mean re reading the defense pre-snap is, is really going to be huge so here i'm basically just like undercutting this route so well that the the receiver turns into an offensive player there you're gonna see some nasty defense here i'm sending the house on this right here you can see there's only two guys dropping back but he's in a max pro so here we go with another sack chandler jones coming off the edge here once again i'm now now i'm dropping a few more guys back i slow it down because i make some nasty defensive play here so we're going to slow this down you're going to see how basically i bite on this for a second but i see that cover two beater coming back so i just flip my hips and that's just a nasty snatch you know what i'm saying <laughs> i just went back and snatched that ball at the highest point that was he was done you know what i'm saying at that point he knew the game was was nowhere he was going to win uh because especially the way I was playing defense. so And you're going to see a little bit of that in the second game, too. That's what happens, man. When you make nasty defensive plays like that, people just, they just, it just takes it out of them. So here we go. Another game. First and 10. Uh, like I said, I'm trying to get back in the weekend league, even though the weekend league isn't worth playing, and I didn't play any games anyway. Uh, first and 10. He's taking off with Derek Carr. Pretty good uh, mobile QB. Uh, but I wouldn't be taking off and diving like that. He's looking to fumble. So here you can see, I'm actually using Bo Jackson now. <laughs> I'm using my defensive tackle uh, to play middle linebacker in coverage because he's so fast and so athletic that I can do that. <laughs> I can get away with that. So here, I actually, I'm just all over the place with this guy. I mean, he's just got, I mean, 91 speed's faster than Ray Lewis, even though I 
love Ray Lewis. Um, he, you see, I'm getting mad, mad user picks with him. Uh, but Bo Jackson is just like, why wouldn't you? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This guy's just all over the field. So Lattimore again, same blitz, nice little little sack there. And now we got fourth and thirty. Why is this guy going for him fourth and thirty? I don't, <laughs> I don't know what his plan is here. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead with Bo. We're just dropping back. And um, you know, Steve Atwater, like I said, my safeties are so nice. I mean, I wish he was a little more athletic. He doesn't really get the best returns, but if you try to throw the ball up on Steve Atwater, he's coming down with it. So <clears throat> we'll get the ball back. And we're just going to easy mode set, just send this out on a little pitch to Bo Jackson. Like I said, this guy, he's just disgusting, man. Offense, defense, special teams, you got to complete that set. If you don't have any of the Bo Jackson, I mean, you could always go out and buy him now. So here, we slow it down on defense. Look at that, man. I mean, that was just a nice read all the way. I mean, I just bodied that dude off of his route, and then I just, just jumped the lane. And it's, it's once again, man, defense. The guy, I thought the guy was going to quit there. For whatever reason, he makes me run up another play, and then he quits. <laughs> so And he shuts it down, too, which is funny. I mean, Bo, you know, he, he He's, he can do so many explosive plays, but at the same time, like like down to down, I just haven't really mastered him yet. But he's like, I mean, you can see all the explosive plays he's making, so definitely worth getting. So here we go, one more game. Dude quits again. Like I said, those those big defensive plays, they take it out of you. And I mean, that'll definitely make a guy quit fast. And we got Earl Campbell coming to town. This guy right here, man, I've been saying Earl Campbell's one of my favorite backs. You know what I'm saying? I, I he still might be one of my favorite backs, and he's like dirt cheap now. You can get him on like on like the uh, you know like the the bargain bin right now because everybody's trying to get these other cards, but he's still really good. There's only about three instances in this entire year where I can say a running back gave me an issue, and I think Earl Campbell right here is one of them. <laughs> you know, what I mean? you're seeing this guy, you're gonna see what this guy does against me with a full Earl Campbell, and he's disgusting. Uh, as you can see, the first three plays that he's just trying to run it. There, I get a nice little shed, but he still falls forward. I mean, that's what's so great about Earl Campbell is he can he can take it outside, he can run up the middle, he falls forward, he does it all. He's got a huge frame too. He's a good receiver. You know what I'm saying Earl Campbell, if you want a, a bargain, uh, this is the guy. As you can see, he's really giving me uh, issues here. Uh, the only the other two times I can remember uh, a guy giving me issues was um, was uh, I think Barry Sanders one time in a weekend league a guy wrecked me up with him and another one was Mike Vick and that's it for the entire season I've only had three issues where I can say man I couldn't stop that running back here uh, we got the ball with Michael Vick I mean you know this guy's so dirty I'm lucky I didn't fumble there he is a little bit of a fumbler I really want to try the Mike Vick running back out but I just don't think I'm ever going to get rid of um, get rid of the uh, the quarterback. I don't know, I might upgrade to Steve Young or something in time, but either way, so here we're coming into a little hurry up situation because he's not respecting my run. He's coming out in like a nickel or something or some very small package formation where he's giving me huge lanes. And when people do that, you gotta take advantage, man. You gotta run a hurry up and you gotta shut it down. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna keep coming out. I'm expecting him to like pinch the line or something, but he didn't do it. So we're gonna go, we're gonna take advantage. He made a nice play there though, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, that was a good user play. Uh, almost, almost good enough that I thought about not running a hurry up and doing it again but like i said second and eight i'm waiting for that animation man i'm waiting for that animation where my where my line just like bulldozes these guys because it's supposed to i got a two tight end set he's in something really small but you know what it's all good um just as long as i keep getting positive yards i let the clock i let it stop there because i don't want to make Bo too tired um there i actually had a guy the guy i wanted wide open on the x route but i got sacked it just the ball didn't come out you know what i'm saying I, sometimes you get into those situations where you're um you know, you're, you're play actioning too long, <laughs> play actioning too long, and I couldn't get the ball out. So second and 14, nice cover three read there. Trying to come out in that cover two beater play because he was running a lot of cover two. And then the second I do, he starts coming out in cover three. So here, this play right here, this is a huge uh, mistake by me. I'm labbing this play like live and direct. This is not a money play. I come out in something, I thought I could, I try something, and I just, it, just horrible. That was just bad. Like I said, I, I, made the, I made the mistake of coming out with a play I'm not familiar with. I mean, people really got to understand, you really got to, to, to timing and everything involved with plays and when you're trying a new play for the first time it's not going to end up well so there it didn't so here we go second and 12 trying to you know use your bow jackson again this is not a great run stopping formation and i get exposed up the middle there um, i'm not going to do that again though as you can see i'm going to switch it up now because earl campbell um, you know, he's just, that that seems to be this guy's offense. So we're almost to the end of the first half. Nobody's scored yet. Uh, and there, look at that, Bo Jackson, man, with the user lurk. But you know what? For whatever reason, even though he's not really a defensive tackle, they gave him a defensive tackle's hands. I think he should have the same hands at no matter what position. Not. You're going to see him quite a bit dropping picks like that. So here we go with another punt return, man. He's just like the GOAT punt returner. I don't even know if he, were punted, if he returned punts in real life, but he's just so good in this game. So we're going to go, we're going to try to take it outside. I'm trying to make a dude there to get to get a big carry but it didn't work out so i'll take a four yarder though uh second and six we're gonna go ahead this is our one play touchdown again but you know what vic man we just gotta gotta take what's there the first down is just staring us in the face and i get tricked up by my lineman 
too, which kind of sucks. So here we go, first and ten. Still trying to run with Bo, trying to run wide with Bo. And look at that, man. You get that shoestring. BS animation from uh, Rod Woodson. It is what it is. Good play. Um, so here we go. Second and 12. We're stepping up with Vic once again. Like I said, I'm lucky, man. I'm lucky I ain't getting these fumbles. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because they're there. Um, so third and five. Got that cover. Two beater play out. And you know what? He's It's there, but I step up and I try to make a play. And I don't even know what happened. That's just a horrible throw. I should have probably took off. I was waiting, waiting, waiting. But that jam was like extra long. So I really didn't have the time to get it off. So second half, I get ball first. And look at this, man. Vic is having accuracy issues. I got excited there, man. I didn't set my feet. Got excited. I saw um, the dude was wide open right away, so I tried to throw it before the play action was done, and it's just just basically having issues. Anytime you try to, uh, you know, you got to set your feet, and, and Vic, Vic especially. I mean, he's got good accuracy if you set your feet, but if you don't, he can have problems. So second and four, you see how Earl Campbell, man, he's just carrying half my defense. Like this dude, this dude is just like he's so hard to stop. Like I say, he's, to me, still one of my favorite running backs, and I might eventually get rid of Bo and take him back. There's Bo and DT once again dropping another user pick. Like I said, Bo Jackson, man, great player great player to have but for whatever reason he can't catch balls i don't know it's because of the defensive tackle that sounds stupid to me he should be he's bo jackson playing whatever position you want he should have catchable hands so here we go once again nice carry bo jackson getting it done um nine rushes 37 yards not outstanding but um you can see the the all-around game that he offers here we go on the pass easy money second and 11 now uh we're gonna go ahead we're gonna try to take this outside and my man randy moss still my favorite probably my most you know i can't get rid of randy moss he's still the best still the best player in the game as you can see he gets wide open there for a nice big touchdown um, and to take a 10 nothing lead so basically we're trying to put this game away decides to, to turn it up a notch uh you can see look at the stat line man earl campbell nobody runs on me you know what i'm saying this is this is impressive <laughs> this is impressive right now earl campbell is such a good uh running back and i'm coming out on my uh my real run stopper d i didn't have all the adjustments in there as you can see he's running a hurry up and i was trying to finish the adjustments and it totally went awry didn't even have the safety down the line didn't have the line pinched um this hurry up is giving me issues and i thought about calling a timeout but i'm like at the end of the day i'm up two possessions i really need time to to get killed here once again you know i don't have my safety down the line he's going to get a couple of yards this is becoming a consistent thing this hurry up is giving me issues uh because i'm just not having time to set up my defense um, so second to three, like I said, he's running hurry up because he knows he can't pass. So he's just basically trying to get those, uh, those run plays in. And once again, I have no adjustments in. So here we go. It, luckily, uh, one of my computer players makes a nice stop. So here we go. Once again, this is fourth and two. <laughs> he just, Earl Campbell, man, <laughs> breaks the 100 yard barrier on me there. 122 yards. Like I said, I can't remember the last time I gave him 122 yards in a, in a mud game and he's still going. So 124 now. Um, and this is to the point where I get desperate. I, I basically drop down uh, to the line trying to trying to basically go all in for this play. And I'm the safety this time. And he gets behind me. That's why you got to run the ball consistently. It sets up and opens up things like that. So first and 10, I got to basically get something done here just to put a few more points back on the board to basically ice this game. Um, you know, 10-7, man, that's a defensive struggle for the most part. Uh, although I feel like ne it's not necessarily on him as it is on me, just not making uh, good plays on offense, making bad throws with Vic. Um, this player here dumping it out to Jackson once again. He's got great hands on offense. I don't know why he couldn't give me a couple picks earlier. So here we go, uh, second and five, coming back shoulder, Randy Moss. He is just my security blanket. I hear people say that he doesn't catch balls like that. He catches everything for me. So I don't know why I was on my mind to put the dagger in this guy here it looks like we have what i'm expecting is a cover three so i decided to go with my cover three beater i really should have been more concerned with killing clock because i make a bonehead decision here i roll out i see that cornerback going back so i know that 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 deep play is not there and i don't know why i threw it there man but you know what i mean my offense has been the absolute opposite of clutch but my defense has been on point so here we go i've diagnosed that like a g run out there knock that dude out and then he tries to run the ball he wants to run the ball he can't do anything else and you know what third and 16 can't run the ball with the game on the line so you know what now now we're now he's in my territory and he had a guy right up the middle too but Ziki Anza comes in there with a big play so fourth and 20 we're dropping everybody back we're playing straight max coverage and uh, my man Taylor comes in and basically ends the game I mean with this amount of time left still not having a lot of success I mean this dude's playing good defense man he's the only guy to shut down Bo so far even though Bo had one big play um to basically you know get me where I'm at but uh second and 15 we're gonna go ahead we're gonna end this with old faithful Michael Vick I mean people out there that hate on Vick you know what I'm saying you got to you got to you got to see what this guy's capable of. As we score the game winning game ceiling touchdown rather and uh, that's game. I mean, this guy it takes a few minutes to think about it before he meets his way to the exit. And that's it. So if you guys want to see more gameplay footage, do me a favor to like button. I'll do that. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.